Time to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem! Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel, but before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Asdana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the Memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take them seriously! Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the Nameless. Rome? Uh, anyway... Third and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the Nameless. Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Don't worry, just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these Nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, might be a good idea to double check your bags broadcast an announcement before we jump there's still some time before the jump i should talk to everyone how's it going all packed and ready there probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory which is a bit of a shame if you ask me but hey it's rare that we can take a break and let loose let's enjoy it <laughs> well 
Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. I trust Penicone won't let you all down. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yank. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. Uh, camera, check. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries... Aw, drat! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase! What else should I bring? Oh, good idea! A vacation without munching on the go? Unheard of! Mm, but since time off is a rarity, I'm kind of leaning towards savoring the local dishes. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. Come with me. <sighs> These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams' inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me what- Open this door. 
Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... Uh, no. This way. After you. Am I supposed to... How is this even... possible? Why not? She can... We're almost there. Can you still walk? <laughs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. These voices... They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. We're here. Welcome to the Reverie! May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm, and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I... tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard, you don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. 
As I've said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. The Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then, you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pentaconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Pentaconi streets today, but I'm pretty train-tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Welton Hemako beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you! Let's get going! Hmm, shall we go meet up with them now? Penaconi, the planet of festivities! The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits! Oh, we're here at last! Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. And those endless rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? Uh, come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Welcome to the Reverie! May you experience an unforgettable holiday! Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, 
Please head straight to the concierge. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here! Something's not right! Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've just arrived and there's already drama? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, for Platinum Guest Rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Uh, yes, your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. I... I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the Watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation, so forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. Do you know how many credits ten minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacony before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But 
Miss Navigator, I must point out that... If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Panicone trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... And there you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Panicone. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Panicone. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Hello, friend. How have you been? I sincerely hope you don't mind. My apologies for any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. How upright. I like you. I must have you as a friend. Here, 20,000 credits. Please excuse me, I have some matters to attend to. So I must depart, but... I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Oh, wait a minute! I'm sorry, but are you... THE... The singer at Salon Superstar! If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here... It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penaconing like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penaconing is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconing. He is also the organizer of this era's Termini Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties, and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, 
relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after another! But since that Mr... Which day was he? Sunday! Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? Uh, this is just a stage name. I guess. I thought so too. It's most likely some rule of Pinnacone's, or the family's. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out!